I've got the top five teams that should trade up for a quarterback in this year's draft. Hit it. High five. One, two, three, four, five. Rich's top five. All right. So now, before I get to the actual teams on this list, because some of these teams on this list are somewhat down in the middle of this draft and and might not, in your minds, have the capital to move up or shouldn't move up because they could take a quarterback in free agency instead and be cool and not give up any of their draft capital. So if you're sitting there thinking that, and maybe we'll be thinking it throughout this entire top five, I present to you the general manager of the Buffalo Bills, Brandon Bean, when he talked on this very day about what his thought process was when he traded up for Josh Allen in the draft back in the day in 2018, hit it. If you can get a franchise quarterback, if he turns out to be a franchise quarterback, it'll be a good move. I mean, we got criticized a little bit for how much we gave up for Josh. And I'm like, well, if he doesn't work out, I'm not going to be here anyway. And if he does work out, nobody's going to give a <laughs> well, right. Facts. Uh, that's factual. Okay. Right. <laughs> right. So Funny. that's the way I set things up for you as I go down this list right here. <laughs> Rip it. Starting with the team that's in the Baker's dozen spot on the clock, and it's the Las Vegas Raiders. Mm-hmm. Listen, Aiden O'Connell is there, and I see all the Charger fans out there. I mean, the Raider fans out there who tweeted me saying how they love AOC. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. I just looked at your Twitter bio, and it's got a red MAGA hat on it. Oh, I'm like, (laughs) but not that AOC. You're talking about Aiden O'Connell. Listen, I think the kid is uh, a quality quarterback. I think he definitely acquitted himself very well. I don't believe the Raiders should go ahead and go into this offseason and figure out is Russell Wilson the guy or throw $50 million at Kirk Cousins and try and hook him up with Devontae Adams. And I know Devontae Adams might be like, really, another rookie quarterback? But yeah, I think if you can trade up and get Jaden Daniels, you can trade up and get even maybe J.J. McCarthy. You can trade up and really go up there and go get Drake May or, heaven forbid, you sell the entire farm and by the farm i i don't mean you know the ranch in vegas listen my (laughs) wife's on the set i'm gonna move on here and tell you this if you can go and get one of these kids and have him go against mahomes if you want to say go against mahomes maybe you get the the next mahomes and you give up as much as you can to get up from 13. i think the raiders should decide to go and get a rookie quarterback if they really love that guy. Next up on the list is just two spots up, number 11. Listen, I think they're going to go ahead and re-sign Kirk Cousins. I think that that is their plan. But instead, maybe the Minnesota Vikings use some draft capital, move up and draft a young quarterback and start the clock all over again and use that cap space that you're not spending on your quarterback and Give it to Justin Jefferson, quite frankly, (laughs) and figure out other people that you can sign. Build your team with this young quarterback. The rest of this division, as you know, you've got a young quarterback in Chicago, probably going to be Caleb Williams, and you've got a young quarterback in Jordan Love. Start the clock yourself from the very beginning and build up from there if you're the Minnesota Vikings. Number three on this list is sixth on the list overall. Maybe they shouldn't have to trade up. Maybe they just stay and get Jaden Daniels drop in their lap. But I think it's for the time for the Giants to – to do what Chris Brockman's been advocating pretty much for three years and set up for a future that does not have Daniel Jones as their quarterback. I think the Giants starting the clock again. It might be a nice move for uh, Joe Shane and Brandon Bean, who might be feeling a bit of the heat as to their decision-making over the last year in their roster building to start all over again and get a rookie quarterback and get some fresh blood into the NFC East. Number two on the list is the team that is right in between the number four and five teams on the list. The Denver Broncos are sitting at Baker's dozen. Uh, I mean, at the actual dozen, pardon me, 12th overall. And I think the Broncos should decide to move up and, you know, they'll take their medicine with Russell Wilson. I know they just got draft picks back that they've, you know, actually, when I say back, I mean actual draft picks for them to use as opposed to having the last two years where they didn't have any. I like the Denver Broncos starting from scratch and Sean Payton getting his young kid and going to work. 
And number one on the list is I think the Washington Commanders should figure out what to do. Tell the Chicago Bears, you know you love Justin Fields, or maybe you like Drake May just as much as you like Caleb Williams, or you like Jaden Daniels just as much, or you like Justin Fields. How about you stick with that situation? We'll give you some extra picks. You then move down to just the second overall, and you can take anybody you want not named Caleb Williams. Maybe that is Marvin Harrison Jr. And you get Caleb Williams right there in Washington, D.C., which is his home area. And I think the Washington Commanders are the number one team that should trade up and get a rookie quarterback, and that's my my. Can we need one more? All right. All right, we'll get one more. There it is. I know we're up against the clock, so we'll get right to it. This would be highly provocative. Because you're telling your guy that's coming back from an Achilles injury, listen, we're starting the clock on you again, just like Brian Gutekunst did years ago. And I know it would be very, very provocative if the Jets trade up and get another rookie quarterback. And and Aaron's like, really? This entire time? I'm sitting here thinking I'm rehabbing and I can play till I'm 45 like Tom Brady. You're going to go ahead and get some fresh blood in here and you're going to... You're going to back me up with a rookie? Didn't you see what just happened with Zach Wilson? But I think the Jets need to plan for the future. And lo and behold, did you see one of the teams that Jaden Daniels is meeting with this week? The New York Jets. They might be thinking the same thing I'm thinking. If they fall in love with one of these kids, maybe just maybe they go ahead and they trade up and go and get that kid instead of the protection for Aaron Rodgers. It would be a highly provocative move certainly after they put all their eggs in the rogers basket last year even when even not being around i think the jets should kick the tires on it maybe consider it that's why they're my one more on my top five teams that should trade up for a quarterback catch the rich eisen show every single day on the roku channel 12 to 3 eastern for free